now. Is that excuse what I pay you for Sophia? Yes. Andrew, by the way. Sophie. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you. Hello, ma. Okay. Yeah, yes, ma. Now. I have to go back to work. Okay. Uh, you know, I'd love to see you again. Yeah, I work on that street. Uh, there's a telecoms company on that street that I uh, work for. Uh, I see. You? You work? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm an accountant. Oh, yeah. you're a banker? Um, No, I actually work in a private firm. Cool, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem cool like that. Like, the job is actually draining me. Oh. Yeah. You have a nice smile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, I, uh, you seem very interesting, right? And I would love to get to know you more, right? So, do you mind going out with me? Like, let's go have dinner or something. Uh, oh my. Come on, you can pick anywhere, anywhere, and I'll take you. Yeah? I, um, Andrew, I, I don't know. You don't know? Come uh, on. Okay. Um, yeah? I promise I'm a gentleman. Okay, yeah. I'll treat you good. I promise. <laughs> sure. I promise. Okay. Okay. Thank you for saying okay. You just made my day. <laughs> um. You really do have a beautiful smile. <laughs> and just like that, the journey of a thousand miles begins.
getting to know each other after a couple of dates, Andrew felt it's time to introduce the woman of his dreams to his family and his best friend. so much about Sophia <laughs> and couldn't wait until I finally meet this lady that did this to my man. What did I do to him? <laughs> oh boy, don't scatter my man's head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this lover boy cannot say two words without saying Sophia this, Sophia that, <laughs> oh. intelligent, smart, hardworking. <laughs> you know that? Okay, thank you. Um, let me set the table for you All guys. Right, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's feeling being mutual, she decided to introduce Andrew to her older and only sister, Lydia. It's a pleasure to finally meet with you. Well, the pleasure is all mine. Sit down, sit. Well, Andrew, mm? I've heard so much about you. Really? <laughs> well, I hope you heard nice things about me. Sure, of course. <laughs> Lover girl here, she knows how to paint a picture of someone she truly loves. <laughs> and you need to see yourself in the picture she painted. <laughs> you see? <laughs> uh, yes, ma. Okay, ma, can I just... Um, um, Claire, I'm actually driving to to get you the address. Yes, ma. Yes, yes, ma. Ma, please, can you can you give me a minute to to check for it, please? Baby, I'm sorry. I, I need to leave the road. Um, I'm sorry, baby. Um, I didn't know it was you. Uh, yes, yes. I, I really do need that lunch right now. So, am I, am I coming to pick you up and we go for the lunch? Homemade, Andrew. 
I hope it's not one of those your distractions, please. Just to just take me from activities. Hmm. Okay. Yes, I'll be there. Oh God. Ah! Ah! I'm tired. Can't do this anymore. What? Oh God. No, no, no. No. Oh, God. Hey. Hey, baby. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and. Hmm. What? What is this you're wearing? This? Yes. Well, this is an apron, okay? AKA steel and soup shield. Really? Yeah. <laughs> come on in, come on in. You look amazing, baby. Really? Yes, you do. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Whatever you're making really smells nice. I didn't know you can cook. Well, I cook like a pro, baby. <laughs> oh, please, like I'm a pro. I'm telling you, like a pro, okay? In fact, I have an appetizer for you, okay? So why don't you have a taste while I uh, add the finishing touches to the main course? You're so sweet. I try, baby. <laughs> Let me see, Chef Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, I know you might think this is early, but you've taught me how to see the world through eyes of love. You've taught me how to feel with an open heart. I'll be the happiest man on earth if I was the man you'd wake up to every single day. Please be my wife, Sophia, and I promise to love you every single day till my very last breath. One of the happiest moments of every man and woman in love. But not for those who think Andrew and Sophia might be going too fast. You did what? I proposed to Sophia. Andrew proposed to you. Yes. Isn't that great? Too soon. What? Too sudden? You've been dating this girl for like what? Eight months? Yeah, eight months is long enough to know someone. But not long enough to get to know someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. Come on, man, you barely know this girl. Yeah, but I know that I love her a lot and I want to spend the rest of my life with her, bro. I'm telling you, she set a kind of fire in me that makes me want to make her mine forever, you know? You've really entered this girl's hook. And it's a good thing. It's a good, even the Bible says it's a good thing. 
I mean, the Bible says that two are better than one, for their labor shall be rewarded. Sophie, please don't quote me wrong. I'm happy for you, okay? And I also understand that you're truly in love with this guy. So, obviously there is nothing I say or do that would ever make you change your mind. I would just have to support your decision. But on one condition. What condition again? You must tell him the truth concerning your past. Sophie. I know how difficult it is for you to talk about this. But if you must truly raise a family with this guy, then you have to do that in all honesty. Secrets in marriage never works. It can be hidden for a while. But just like pregnancy, it must surely surface. And when it does, it definitely ruins everything and when I mean everything you've ever worked for in years, Sophie, always build on the foundation of truth because honesty is the best policy. I mean, she's everything a man wants in a woman. You know, she's smart, she's easy to talk to, she, she has a sense of humor, you know? I can see you finally made up your mind on this. So, when are we working hard down the yard? In a week's time. What? What? You're getting married in a week's time? What's the rush? Are you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. Then... You see, sis, Andrew cannot wait for us to start living together. But I made it clear to him that I will only do that until we're officially married. So. What's with the rules anyways? Uh, <clears throat> it's just a promise I made to myself to avoid being knocked up before marriage. It's nothing.
A few weeks later, Andrew and Sophia tied the knot in a small gathering. Like the beginning of everything, always sweet. You can't get enough of each other, not stay a second away from each other. How he's snoring. He's so cute. Love is a beautiful thing indeed. Until the flaw starts to reveal its ugly head and you start to wonder what changed in that special person that was once upon a time so perfect. Well, that's what passion does. It burns and burns and burns and eventually burns out. And when it does, the reality that tests every married couple begins to unveil.
Sophia! Wake up, wake up, wake up. Andrew, what is it? You used the toilet and you didn't flush it again. Andrew, please help me flush it, okay? You can't continue like this, okay? You can't continue like this. It's wrong. Andrew, it's just a common toilet. I don't want to argue this in morning. Please help me flush it. Sophia, please wake up. Will you stand up and flush the toilet? Okay? You're a lady. You're supposed to be a lady. I've warned you several times about this dirty habit. It's a dirty habit. You can't use the toilet and not flush it. Who does that? Oh, Andrew, stop it. Stop. What is all this nonsense? Common toilet you cannot flush? Are you serious? Okay, you know what? I'm trying not to argue with you right now, okay? So just flush the toilet so I can get ready for work. I know you don't have to work, but other people have to work, okay? I have to pay for the bills. So flush the toilet so I can get ready. Andrew, I told you it was about toilet. What has job got to do with this? Besides, the time you're standing here, you would have used it to flush that toilet and do what you want to do in the bathroom. Please. It's fine. I'll flush it later. You're not listening to me. That's unfortunate. You're not... I said I have to get ready for work. I have to get ready for work, okay? Please. I cannot shower in there with that smell. It's a horrible smell that woke me up. You're not listening to me, okay? Flush the toilet so I can get ready for work. Andrew, what is your problem? What is your problem? What? Listen, listen, listen to me. If you have any regard for me as your husband, okay, you will not use the toilet in the same room that I am and not flush it. But it's obvious you have no respect for me. And that's not cool, okay? It's not cool. Warren Buffett once said, Chains of habits are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. You will be surprised at how little habits like this can destroy a good relationship. Andrew, you know you are not the only one using the space. So please, I beg, next time, don't take it out. What's wrong with you? Huh? I left the bigger toothpaste there, you're still making noise. You know, if we're going to live in this house, hey, I'm talking to you. If we're going to live in this house together, right? You can't manage this room like you're the only one that owns it. Andrew, please, I beg you, do not spoil my money. I shouldn't spoil your money. Yes. Wait, you can spoil mine, is that what you're trying to say? How's that fair? Huh? And how is it my fault? It's not your fault. It's your fault. Oh, it's mine. Yes. Because you could not even flush a damn toilet! You are here eating yourself up! Oh, I'm eating myself up. Andrew, who makes flushing toilets? A big deal! Who? So you can't flush the toilet! That's your problem! Using the toilet and not flushing it! Aren't you embarrassed? Aren't you embarrassed? You're a pig! What kind of pig uses the toilet and doesn't flush it? Huh? It's, it's, it's wait, 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 wait! It's Andrew! What did you just call me? Andrew, fucking what? What did it? Andrew! Huh? It's not the woman I married. It's 
nonsense. People are like books. Some deceive you with here. their cover, and others surprise you with their content. She's sitting on her ass every day watching Telemundo or whatever she calls that, 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 that channel. Can't just let yourself go like that, huh? Come on. This is not who I married. I didn't sign up for this. Action. A million naira. I'm telling you, my brother. Wait, hold on. Is it like for like a semester or because I, I don't understand. <laughs> semester. I was just to go there, drink Capri Sun, <laughs> defecate, eat and come back again. <laughs> well, a million naira for five-year-old school fees is it's, it's very expensive. Aren't there other cheaper options? There are plenty of them. Just that my wife wants the best for my kids. Though I'm not complaining because my kids are getting smarter by the day, especially my princess. Mm -hmm. My wife is a darling, she's an angel. <laughs> she helps me in everything I do. She takes care of the food items while I pay the school fees. She's a very supportive woman, just like your wife, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could agree with that. What happened? I mean, she uses the toilet and she doesn't flush. Who does that? Who uses the toilet and they don't flush? What kind of habit is that? You both fought. Bro, she didn't used to do that when we were dating. There's so many things she didn't used to do back then that she does now. I mean, why are women like that? When you're dating them, they're perfect. But once you put a ring on their finger, bam, their true color show. You wouldn't have fought with her with things like that. Bro, it's first. What is wrong in you flushing the toilet? Is it a big deal? It's frustrating, I'm telling you, okay? Like, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I rushed into this marriage. Don't tell me it's getting bad. Bro, I got so mad today, I called her a pig. You what? You called your wife a pig? No man does that. No matter how mad you are, you don't call women names, especially your wife. She may not talk to you in a month. Okay, imagine, my wife did not speak to me for two months. Just because I told her that the dress she wore made her look fat. Really? Hey, you don't know women. With them, everything you say and do will be used against you in the High Court of Home Justice. <sighs> Listen, man. To understand women, you have to understand what they cherish and value. It doesn't matter what they look like. So far as the validation opinion is coming from someone they love and cherish, screw the world. A man who says sorry when he's wrong is called honest. And the one who says sorry when he's not sure is called wise. And the man who says sorry even when he knows he's right is called husband. That is the secret of a happy home. It's not about being right. It's about putting the happiness and peace of the home first. Leading with care and compassion as the head of the household. Speaking of which, man, you have to call your wife, Sophia, and apologize. Yes. Oh my God, did you watch the last episode? Oh, thank God you did. I missed it. Are you serious? No, no, no. Anthony. The stepmom is wicked. Hey, babe. I don't know. Hey. I just wish. I had to miss this one. Wow, 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 wow. You know what saying that girl was gonna Wait, don't tell me he did 
not... Are you serious? Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Can't be serious. Oh no, I don't know why I missed it. Oh my God, I don't know why I missed this one. <sighs> huh? You got married to her. Wow, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Really? Mm. Wait, please, can I can I call you back, please? Yes, yes, I'll call you back. Now, I'll call you back now. Just wait, I'm having a call waiting. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hi, sis. What's up? Uh, I'm all right. How did it go? How did, how did what go? The job interview I secured for you. Um... You forgot, Sophia. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sis, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the second time, Sophia. It's as if you don't need this job or something. I know the job, sis, I do. Then act like you do. You should be the one calling up to know what's up, not your husband. Wait, sis, you mean Andrew has been pressuring to get me the job? I didn't say pressure, Sophia. I'm only saying that you should show a little concern that you need a job. I don't understand what you have turned into ever since you got married. You put away everything, your career, your goal, and even your life. Imagine you coming to my house the other day on natural waved hair. Sis, please don't sound like Andrew. There is nothing wrong with me having my natural wave on. A lot of ladies do that. Properly, Sophia. You don't see them carrying their natural waved hair like they just lose their wave on. It's barely three months you got married. And if you could leave yourself the way you did, what will happen when you now give birth? Okay, Mama, I, I heard you, Mommy. I heard you. I know your previous was very hectic. And you want to take some time off work to rejuvenate before getting back in the train. But too much ease is dangerous and a big threat to every success. And mind you, you are married to a young, handsome man. And the wolves out there don't joke with his kind. So you better get your shit together and become the Sophie that I know and quit treating yourself like marriage is your last bus stop. Sis, I've heard. I heard you. Okay. Sophia says hi. Um, 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 sis, just say hi to her, okay? She's here with me. Why don't you tell her yourself? Hello, sweetheart. Hi, sugar. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Same. I'm fine. I hope Big Mommy is taking good care of you. <sighs> All right, dear. When are you coming to see me? I miss you, you know? Okay, I'll, I'll come see you tomorrow after work. Oh, you know what? Um, give Big Mommy the phone, so I'll tell her to bring you tomorrow, and you get to see my new house. Okay? All right. <laughs> hey, you heard her. I'm doing a great job. Thank you. She called me sweetheart. Isn't that what she told her to call you? Instead of the other way, auntie or whatever. I know. Um, sis, please, can you bring her to the house tomorrow if you're free? Sure, but that will be in the evening. Fine. No problem. <laughs> All right. And Sophia, don't sweep our conversation under the mats as usual. Really think about it. 
I heard you. Thank you. Okay. Take care and say me hi to Andrew.
baby, 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 what are you doing? Huh? You just finished eating though, you should let the food digest first. Stop, you know I can't stand that. Like, I can't leave this kitchen on time, please. I need to clean up, okay? Okay, okay, you know what? I'm so lucky to have found a baby like you. <laughs> you know? But you need to rest. Just go. You need to rest. You need to clean up, just go. <laughs> Your day? My day was beautiful. It's even better now. <laughs> How was yours? Fine. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm. What's that? Some smells great. I made your favorite. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I can't wait for you to move in with me. Okay? So I can come back to this sexiness and great food every day. <laughs> Go away. I'm telling you. Okay. Why don't you just go up and freshen up and then you come down for lunch? Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. This leaving you is a very difficult decision. <laughs> just go away. You come with me? No. You don't want to Let me get your lunch ready. Okay. Okay. All right. This is not the person I fell in love with, okay? Kind of totally switch up on me. Just change just so I marry her. Andrew, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I left the kitchen in a mess and uh, in the bathroom. I'm really sorry. Remember you called me a pig? Please, okay, don't play that manipulative game right now, don't. Where did you make this hair? You like it? You know I like it. That's why you remove it and, and wear that local hairstyle <laughs> every time it wants to piss me off. What is local? You know what I'm talking about, okay? If you don't think it's local, take a picture next time. Stop it. Okay? Come here. I'm sorry I called your names. I didn't mean it. I was, I was just upset. I know you don't. It's fine. You know what? What? That reminds me. I have something for you. Stay right there, okay? I'll be back. Okay? <laughs> what is... What is inside? It's a little, I'm sorry for calling you names, gift. You're so sweet. I try. Okay, so I'll check it out later. But first, you need to freshen up while I get your dinner ready. Oh, yeah? Yes. Alright. I also have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Yes. Oh, no, I can't wait. I'm curious. Just call. <laughs> mm, what's the surprise? Okay, no, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, so should I take off the blindfold now? Yes. <sighs> I, uh, I see someone's feeling sensitive. 
instrumental today. Mm -hmm. I like it. Trying to get protection. We don't need protection, baby, okay? You want to risk getting pregnant now? Andrew, are you being serious? I'm being serious. You want to leave it, But you want to start welcoming kids now? Of course! That is what married would do, Andrew! I don't get it! Yeah, that's what they do, but they do when they're ready. Okay, they have to be ready first. Wait, Andrew. You can father a child, right? Of course I can! That's not what I mean by ready. I mean financially ready. You have to be financially ready to support a kid, to raise a child. Okay? And we only have one source of income right now. So it's not viable for us to have a kid. Andrew, why do you like to make me feel like a loser in this marriage? Why? Oh, I'm making you feel like a loser. Honestly, you feel like I'm making you feel like why a loser. Why can't you just make a statement without saying that Sophie is jobless? Why? When did I say that you were, when, when did I do that? Huh? When you said one source of income, what does that mean, Andrew? What does that mean? You have a job, they pay you one million naira a month and you're telling me it's not enough to raise a child? Do you want to lecture me about that right now? Sophia, you think one million naira is money? Huh? No, 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 no. Look at me, you think one million naira is money? Huh? Let me tell you something. Lucas spends one million naira on school fees for his two kids. One million naira. And we still have mortgages to play. Okay, we still have to pay mortgage, we don't have any investments on ground and we want us to have kids now? Huh? You know what they say? Wise people think and plan ahead. Foolish people don't and they even brag about it. Wait, wait. Andrew, are you saying that I'm a fool and you're a wise man, Andrew? Listen, you don't have to get all dramatic, okay? I'll just quote in the Bible to you, okay? It's Proverbs 13, 16. Wise people think and plan ahead. Fools don't and they even brag about it. That's all I was saying, okay? Really? Really? of so many failed marriages today. How is one going to get to their desired destination if they fail to plan and set realistic stepping stone goals to lead them there? The state of convenience lies in the hands of proper planning. And when you know this, you will become a good planner. And when you become a good planner, you save your life from stress. Sophia. Sophia. because we're okay with what we have and having one child will not change anything. If you think having a child will not affect us financially, then you don't know what's involved in raising a child. Honey, can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself? People who do not have as much as we do still have kids and raise them well. Have kids, yes. 
But raise them? I don't think so. Okay, there's so much more involved in raising a child than just having them and sending them off to the street to, to hawk and do illegal things to survive. Okay? There are loads of kids out there that their parents didn't plan that are out there and they're lost. I'm not bringing a child into this world unless I'm financially capable to support it. Okay? And that's final. Now, this is the reason why so many marriages today are in deep shit. Because one spouse is so extreme and selfish in thinking and way of doing things to the point of jeopardizing the future of their marriage. How can two people with different perspective and opinion work together? Marriage is supposed to be a teamwork. Not some competition where the winner takes it all. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, so how did Andrew take it when you told him the truth concerning your past? You told him, right? What? Don't dial any number. Okay. I asked. <laughs> you told him, right? No, I didn't. What? Sophia, but you promised to tell him the truth before walking down the aisle with him. I wanted to, but I panicked. You panicked? For what? I was scared he was going to change his mind about marrying me. If he knew about my past. Sophia, this is no excuse to build a home based on secrecy. You should have opened up to him before saying I do. What if he changed his mind? Then you will know that he doesn't love you enough to be with you because of your past. You must tell him. Is that even necessary? Come on. Sophia, how are you going to live with a man you claim to love while hiding such things from him? Okay. I'll tell him. When? I don't know. Come on, Sophia. Since we're trying to have our child, I can't bring up such topic right now. It's wrong. Hmm. Planning to welcome a child is the more reason you should tell him everything concerning your past. <clears throat> Honey, I'm on. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, Hi. baby. Hi. Mm. <laughs> How are you doing? How's your day? Fine, and yours? It was, uh, it was good. It was really good. I saw um, Lydia's car in the driveway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Hi, Lydia. How's, uh, how's your family? Well, good. So. <laughs> so, um, how was up today? Work was successful, you know, we thank God. Okay. Good evening, sir. Oh, hello, beautiful. Who is she? How are you doing? I'm fine, are you? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia? Wow. You want to hear a secret, Sophia? Okay. Well, I told your auntie here that I love the name Sophia so much that I'll name my first daughter Sophia. And I hope she's as beautiful as you are. She's going to be as beautiful as I am. I'm going to love her just like you love me. Oh, you know what? I'll love her so much just like I love you. Promise? <laughs> I promise. Okay? <laughs> is she always this uh friendly? This friendly? This one. Yeah. <laughs> she barely talks to people though. Oh. She was surprised. Really like you. <laughs> She's a beautiful girl. You should bring her around more often. I really like that. I like him. He's oh. a good person. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. She's pretty smart. You have no idea. So, what were you guys up to? Um, actually I was making dinner, but Lydia and Sophie, yeah, about leaving. Really? Uh, where did you guys stay for dinner? <laughs> Would have loved to, but I have a client meeting to attend. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next time then. Sure. All Why right. <laughs> okay. Well, it was really nice meeting you, little Sophia. Me too. <laughs> Let me go freshen up, okay? <laughs> Bye. Bye. So perfect now, I'm lost in my ecstasy. Yeah, I just can't imagine a day without you. Girl, I'm so into you. I hope I'm not a fool. Cause you know it wouldn't be so easy to finally realize it's all untrue. So tell me. Something that I need to know You've been hiding all the time I just wanna know, please tell me Every secret I can understand Please don't you let me cherish a lie You're not going to eat? Um, no. Oh. no That'll be later Okay <laughs> Oh, you know, I was thinking, I really admire your relationship with Lydia. You guys are so close, mm-hmm. you know? I can only imagine what it was like growing up with her in your class. That was interesting. Yes, it, it was. Mm. It was. Do you mind telling me? Um. It's, it's nothing, it's just the basic, you know, two sisters under the same roof. Mm. We had our moments and disagreements, just like Tom and Jerry, you know, we fight and then we can never be apart. I can totally imagine that. <laughs> that's all? Yes, that's all. Mm. I see. It's really good. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I remember this day. <laughs> my brother took this week. Look at my face. Look at this look. Look at my face here. <laughs> he just beat me in FIFA like 6 0. Wow. And he took a picture to remember. You know, you, you have quite an interesting past. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Everybody does. Sure. You too, right? Of course. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, your turn. Tell me all about, you know. <laughs> about what? Your past. You know, just like I told you about mine, you share with me. Reciprocate, baby. Andrew, but I already told you about my past. Uh, but that cannot be everything, okay? It can't be all. Well, it is. Okay. Even your university days. Were those basic? I don't get it, Andrew. Do you want me to make up one for you? You want me to lie to you? I already told you my past was just the basic and that's it. I mean, you could tell me. I'm not going to judge you if that's what you're worried about. You can't not trust me. I mean, you can Excuse me? I don't get it, Andrew. What? Judge? What are you insinuating, please? I'm not insinuating anything. But what does that statement mean? What are you talking about? It's fine. What's fine? It is fine because I wasn't talking about anything. I can't do this anymore. You can't do what? It's fine. What? Forget it. Where are you going? Babe, listen. Okay. Listen. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Okay? Hey. Hey, Sophia. Hey, babe, come on. I'm just trying to talk to you. Okay, you don't have to get worked up. I'm just trying to have a cup of tea. Whoa! Hey, come on. Babe. Sophia, come on. You can't keep running away every time important conversations about your life or past comes up. You can't. Good night, Andrew, and leave me alone! Leave me hell alone! You don't have to get worked up. I just want to talk to you. Could you please?
Lies and secrets are like cancer in the soul. They eat away what is good and leave only destruction behind. Yeah, I can't wait a minute to say I do. Cause you give me a thousand reasons to stick with you. Yeah, yeah. You make loving you so easy. You seem so perfect now. I'm lost in my ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. I just can't imagine a day without you. Girl, I'm so into you. I hope I'm not a fool. Cause you know it wouldn't be so easy to finally realize it's all untrue. So tell me, is there something that I need to know? You've been hiding all the time. I just wanna know. Sophia is keeping a secret from me. I overheard her and her sister. Have you tried talking to her about it? I tried indirectly, but she didn't tell me. You know, I don't think she's going to tell me, to be honest with you. So what are you going to do now? I need your help. My help? Everybody knows you're a computer wizard, bro. And you can hack anything hackable. So. See, Andrew, don't expect me to delve into your wife's privacy. But that's what I expect, man. I need to know why she said that I wouldn't have married her if I knew her secret. All right, I'll be needing all her social media platform details, her email address, including Facebook. Let's start from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on and off on social media, you know, apart from Facebook that she... I saw her once writing down, like, some contacts on Facebook in a diary that I see her with once in a while, you know? A diary, like a contact book? Yeah. Huh. Settled. I'll be needing that, that diary. Okay. Okay. I'll try my best to get it for you. Perfect. Perfect. I'll help you. All right. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. Searching for in my bag? Searching? No, no, I'm not searching for anything in your bag. I was just looking, looking uh, for something. You're looking for something in my bag, and you didn't ask me to help you search for it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just, 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 just looking for floss. <clears throat> floss? Yeah, dental floss. Is it, is it there? In my bag? Yeah. Just, Boy, it's always in the bathroom. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just slip on my... Oh, I like your hair. It's nice. I'm going downstairs to make dinner. Okay. All right. Andrew?
Hey, hey, babe, <clears throat> you're up. Andrew, what are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my wallet. Remember I told you earlier that I've been looking for my wallet. I, I don't know where it is. You know, it's so annoying just knowing that... Your wallet? Yeah, I can access my cards. Yeah, if you happen to see my wallet, just let me know. Is that not your wallet? <laughs> yes, it's... <laughs> I've been looking for that wallet all day, you know. You remember me telling, you probably forgot, but I told you earlier that I've been looking for that wallet. Uh, let me just sort this out. I can't believe it's right there. I cannot believe it's right Because I've been, you remember me asking you earlier if you saw my wallet. Thank you so much. <sighs> Did you mind scooting over? <sighs> Good night, baby. Thank you. Finally. I didn't... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good night, baby. What is he up to? You're still not feeling fine? No. Andrew, are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? No, no. I mean, you could get me some drugs at the pharmacy. Um, okay. I'll do that. I'll just do that. Alright. Come here. Come here. Thank you. I left my ATM card. <coughs> my card. Your card, okay. Okay.
because you're not successful originally. But when you do well, you become a sign of hope to the optimist and to the pessimist. I searched everywhere. I'm telling you, I searched everywhere and I still can't find it. I think she removed it. I don't know. I don't know. I've searched everywhere. I'm telling you, it's not here. I don't know. Where, where, where? I've searched everywhere. I'm telling you, every single place. Like I've searched my room. I've, I've searched everywhere. My, oh, I'll call you back. I'll call you back.
Uh, we can't use cold water. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm just getting ready. I got a call from a very important investor, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm heading off to go see him. Andrew. Hmm? You didn't tell him you're not feeling too fine? Oh, no, no. I'm just seeing him for a second and then I'm back here. You know, I just want to sign something. Yeah? Okay, it's fine. I could just drive you, okay? No, no, no. I can drive myself. Baby, are you sure? Babe, I'm sure. Okay, listen. You worry too much, okay? I'm fine. The tea helped. Yeah? All right. Set was it? Yeah? Yeah. All right, bro. I'll give you a call. Looking forward to hearing from you. Soon. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.
any meaning to say I do Cause you give me a thousand reasons to stick with you Yeah, yeah You make loving you so easy You seem so perfect now I'm lost in my ecstasy Yeah, yeah I just can't imagine a day without you Girl, I'm so into you I hope I'm not a fool Cause you know it wouldn't be so easy To finally realize it's all untrue So tell me, is there something that I need to know? You've been hiding all the time I just wanna know Girl, I don't know you anymore And just when I thought You were everything that I wish for Then I realized you're not the same Oh, no, 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 no yeah. You can only hide the truth for so long Yeah, but eventually Everything will come to life I can only imagine All the lies childhood friend yes oh so when did you return from Germany well I came back a few months ago and ever since that I've been trying to reach out to no avail <laughs> just yesterday I came across our old Facebook chat where she mentioned you Stella kind-hearted woman she lost contact with yeah. after she left school because of the incident I don't know if she told you about the incident that made her drop out of school. Yeah, I'm aware of it. I thought since you're close to her, you should know her whereabouts. Well, that was back then in school. After she left, we lost contact. And later reconnected on Facebook again. After that again, she went offline. And I never heard from her ever since then. Till now? Yeah. Just like she vanished into Team A. You're right about that. Because I've tried every single person that I know that knows her. Seems none of them knows her whereabouts. Do you know if she had the baby? 
I wouldn't know about that. Because uh, Sophia is a secretive person that she can never tell you her whereabouts or what she's doing. Anyways, uh, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I beg to take my leave. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice shop you have here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye. I lost her contact as well as you did. And I've not heard from her ever since. That's very bad. Do you know anyone that might help me locate where she is right now? I, I, I can't think of anyone. I can't. All right. All right, one, one more thing. About the incident that made her drop out of school. How do you know about that? I was responsible for her pregnancy. You? Oh my God. We all thought it was Phillips. Phillips? Yeah. Some guys she dated back in school. They had lots of memories together. I see. The pregnancy. Do you know if she had the baby? My baby? I don't know, honestly. But I definitely know someone who would know if she did. Her best friend. Esther. You know her? Yes. She did mention her name. Oh, I see. Anyways, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Sophia, you know her? Very, very well. See, we were best of friends before I traveled out of the country and mm. lost contact with her. Mm. I never knew she was dating someone else back then. Just because I wasn't in the country. And the pregnancy. Are you responsible? <laughs> yes. Um, do you know if she had the baby? Uh, yeah, yeah. She did. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and I heard she's married now. Married? Yeah, I ran into her sister Lydia with the little Sophia. And when I asked of her, Lydia told me she got married a few months ago. And I'm like, lucky her. Huh? Some of us are still struggling to have one while she has already gotten two. You mean she has uh, two husbands? She was married before. Oh, I see. And the little baby's name is... Um... S Sophia, right? Sophia, yeah, she named her after herself. I see. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Come on. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. And need I remind you that you're very, very beautiful oh. and captivating. I'm flattered. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I beg to take my leave. It's all right. Okay, now. Okay. Hey man, I can talk now. We need to see. 
There's a whole lot you don't know about your wife, Sophia. I'd rather get slapped in the face by the truth than kiss a lie. I might not like what you're going to uncover, but the truth is liberating, so I'll take my chances. Mama. What did you find out? <laughs> Bro, I don't even know where to begin. What, she killed someone? I killed. No. What? She was married. What? And had a baby. The girl's name is um, Sophia. What did you just say? I said the little baby's name is... Sophia. Sophia. Sophia? Are you serious? You've met her? I can't believe she was her daughter and they both looked me in the eyes and... <laughs> Sophia and the girl? No, Sophia and her sister Lydia looked me in the eyes and they lied to me when I asked... <sighs> How did you find out? According to Sophia's old Facebook chat with her friends I told you about, I found out from them that she was pregnant. Speaking with Stella, her best friend, she confirmed to me that she had the baby. The little girl she ran into, Lydia with her the mall a month ago. And the man she was married to? Phillips. His name is Phillips. But they didn't know much about her, because they knew that she got married and lost contact with them. I believe your wife is in the right position to tell you the rest of the story. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate this, yeah? Thank you. Andrew. Yeah? Take it easy. Everyone makes mistakes. Three things that cannot stay long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Why are you speaking in parables? I'm speaking in parables. I'm speaking in parables. You're a snake. You're slimy. Were you ever going to tell me about her? About who? About your daughter, Sophia. Were you? Or the fact that you were married? You were married, Sophia. You were married and you didn't tell me. Are you serious? Are any of the things you told me about your life, are any of them true? The foundations of this relationship are based on lies, right? It's based on lies. Huh? It's based on lies. It's all a lie. You're a lie, okay? Hey, I want you gone. By the time I come back, okay? Don't come close to me. I want you gone. You've been crying. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sophia, I couldn't believe what you told me on the phone. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Andrew took off his wedding ring. Next that I leave. Before he returns. He wants me to leave his house. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please stop crying. You know you can be so stubborn. I asked you. I begged you to tell this guy before getting married to him, but you refused. I'm so sorry. I don't know why you don't ever take my advice. It's okay. Please don't play yourself to bed. It's okay. It's okay. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. You'll be fine. Okay? <laughs> Sophia, we're going to sort it out. Please stop crying. <laughs> Tell you how it feels to get your heart broken into pieces and your soul shattered on the floor. Try so hard to move on, but you don't wanna let it go. Don't wanna let it go. Wake up every morning, but you're stuck in yesterday. The feeling of the heartache and the pain won't go away. Try to change your story, still you don't wanna let it go. Don't wanna let it go. But sometimes you know that holding. Do not hesitate to call me if you need anything. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sis, for coming so quick. Thank you. Are you sure you're gonna be fine? I'm fine. Hmm? Thank you. Just call me. But sometimes you know that holding on could hurt so bad Leaving you in pain and misery Close your eyes and take a deep breath Kiss your past goodbye If you wanna heal, it's time for you to let go Heaven can be Stop running away from my challenges. You already know that it's yesterday. 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 Listen, girl, this is how it feels to get your heart shattered into pieces and you keep crawling on the floor. Trying all you can to go back to yesterday. To yesterday, no. Wake up every morning, but you don't wanna. Yesterday is gone and it's just never coming back So pick up the pieces of your heart and bend it back And then you'll understand Heaven can be a heartbreak away You can never really know If you're still holding on to yesterday 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 Don't even seem like you're fading away You already know
Sofia. 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 What could have happened? Hey, God. I just hope that this girl hasn't done something stupid. Eh? Hey, 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 Rihanna, please come. Um, yes. Have you seen your madam today? No, I never see her. Since my never see her. When last did you see her? I don't know. What of your girl? Her know. husband? I don't know where my Oga go. I never seen her since morning. I don't know where they go. You let's say my Oga go somewhere. You don't know where your madam is. You don't know where your Oga is, but you are there. Money in the gate. Go, go, go. go. He's not picking my call. Uh -huh. Lucas, it, it's me, Lydia, Sophia's sister. Oh, Lydia. Yes. Um, I, th I please. I think my sister's life is in danger. She hasn't been picking her calls for the past one week. And she locked herself inside. Where are you? I'm at Andrews. I've been knocking and she hasn't been answering the door. And I called Andrew. He didn't pick. I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Sophia! 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 See me see trouble. Eh? Happening. I don't know. My sister, she might be in trouble. Sophia? Yes. I've been knocking for the past two hours or more, calling, calling. Yes. Sophia! Sophia! She won't answer you. I think we need to break down this door. No, you can't. This is an, an iron door. Then what do we do now? It's only Andrew who gets her to open this door. Andrew hasn't been picking my calls. I've been calling him since I got here. Mine too. He didn't pick my call, but let me call him back again. I hope he's he might okay, speak. He's not picking up. He's not picking. At all. I think I have to send him a text. Are you sure he will answer you? Yeah, he will. He will. Oh yeah, now try, try, just try.
Hey man, I understand you're really upset, devastated maybe. But if you don't come home sooner than later, you might bury your, your wife. I'm at your place with your wife's sister. Okay, we've been trying to get into the house, but she's not responding. Is it that you come back and face what is tearing you apart? Or you focus on what is keeping you together? Okay, hurry up, bro. All right, take care. Is it that you, come, it that back you and come back and face what is tearing you apart? You up? Or you focus uh, on what focus is on what you keeping you together? Keeping you to I just sent him a text. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's just be waiting. What has gotten over her? What is wrong with her? Huh? I don't know. Huh? Thank God you're Excuse here. Me? What? Your wife, my sister, she locked herself indoors. Well, let me try. Sophia! Babe, it's me, it's Andrew. Babe! Babe, open up the door. It's locked. Where are you going? I have a spare key. Of the house in the car. Here's an alternative. Okay. What is Babe! Sophia! 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 I'll be back. Sophia! 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 Hey, Sophia. Hey, you okay? I'm sorry. I trust you. Is a better compliment than I love you because you may not always trust the person you love. But you can always love the person you trust. And without respect, love is lost. Without caring, love is boring. And without honesty, love is unhappy. Are you sure everything is okay in there? Just let them be. They can sort themselves out. I didn't mean to hide that from you. I was afraid of losing you. What happened with him? I was young and naive when I got married to Philip. Then we had Sophie, little Sophie. 
I began to see the true character of Philly. He was a drunk. He would come home every night drunk. He would beat me up for no reason. It became a case of domestic violence. I begged. I begged Philip. But he never stopped. He never cared for little Sophie. I got tired. I got tired of everything. And I wanted to just go somewhere far away with Sophie. And then we fought in this drunk state. He fell. I swear, Andrew, I didn't do it. I swear, I did not do it. God knows. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're wanting me? Yes, You're wanting me? Yes. I am done with marriage! Leave me back! Leave me back! Leave me back! Leave me back! I will not stay this marriage! I don't want any more! If you don't leave me, I'm gonna do it! Leave me! Life is a journey, and love is what makes this journey worthwhile. However, finding the right partner isn't always simple. Perhaps. It's because there's no such thing as a right or a wrong partner. You see, great relationships isn't when a perfect couple comes together, but when an imperfect couple learns to respect and enjoy each other's differences. He did it. He was drunk. Then he, he slipped and hit his head. It wasn't me. He died. He died, Andrew. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't kill him, Philip. I swear. It's okay. It's okay, baby. I'm sure there's nothing I could have done. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I'm here for you. Okay? It's you and I. Forever. You know, I love you, baby. I love you too. Uh, I mean, we now have a beautiful, smart child. Child? Yes, we do. Ooh. Little Sophia. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Oh, little Sophie. Hey, look at me. Don't keep any secrets from me anymore. Ever again. Don't. Okay? Cross my heart. You promise?